So we actually see Jen preparing her date with Josh, knowing that the fact that she just met him during the wedding episode, but we can tell how she really loved him, in which we see one day that she didn't receive any texts from him, knowing that the fact that Nikki decided to took her phone away, knowing that the fact that it would be something much more sinister. But we see from <clears throat> Bronski's probation that he, he as probation officer that he's actually have his inhibitor malfunction, knowing that the fact that we see how he was actually broke his parole. So they actually met up in the his meditation center where he was actually got a new inhibitor infinite, which means that we see how he got a new inhibitor. But now we see how he can actually relax and showing Jen his new facility. While at the same time, we get to see two new characters whose name is Mambol and El Gila, who's actually a mutant from Earth 616, who actually is specialized in fencing, hand-to-hand -hand combat, acrobats, and of course, can generate electricity from his sword, and also Manbol, who's actually a <clears throat> supervillain, and also a mutant, which he looks like a minotaur, in which they actually came there for their real, for controlling their anger. And of course, knowing how he gave Jen a tour to her to his facility, we can tell how they have actually realized the fact that they actually gone to how she will control her rage. Around the same time, we can actually see how They've seen her join her session along with two more superhuman individuals, which one is Saracen, who is actually a vampire, and he's not actually Blade, of course, and Porcupine, who's actually a character who's actually equipped with a suit encrypted with spikes, and also have a gas mask, which he's also a villain. And also during in this session is Wrecker, one of the Wrecking Crew who tried to steal her blood. But knowing how he actually have control his temper, in which we see how Jin actually say that he was actually was hoping to get <clears throat> to hear Josh again, but he just stood her up. So she decided to let him go and delete his number, which she finally learned how to control her inner She-Hulk, as well as Porcupine removing his mask, which is not the good look when his face is actually, you know, looks all messy, and they did tell him to bring the suit after her <laughs> dry clean. But the reason why Josh haven't actually called Jen back is because he's working with the same organization as the Wrecking Crew as he's copying the data from her phone and say that she got, I mean, he got her blood. Now, we see Blonsky's Rehabilitation Center, which we see new characters like Manbo, the mutant, 
El Gilda, the Menador, Saracen, the Vampire, and of course Porcupine, who's actually the arch nemesis, who's actually the villain who fought against Edmund, whose real name is Alexander Gladtree. But at the end, we see how Josh actually took <clears throat> Jen's blood and actually copies her phone, which she's working with, which he's working with the enemy. Now we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend with only two episodes left. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and my Facebook page and Twitch. Until then, this is Anime Guys right here saying sign out. Laters, and be safe.